Hello, I'm Ehsan. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to build a vacuum slab using Materials Studio program. Uh, slabs are equal to surfaces of materials in real world and uh, you can build uh, them with different programs like Avogadro and Materials Studio. I've used both uh, these programs and highly recommend uh, you to use Materials Studio. Uh, in order to build a slab, first you need a unit cell uh, with uh, CIF format. Uh, in this case we have uh, a magnesium ferrate unit cell which has uh, 56 atoms. After opening the unit cell, from Build menu, uh, Surfaces, uh, select Cleave Surface. Then you need to determine Cleave uh, Plane. Uh, it's actually the crystallographic plane that is exposed to environment in a uh, material surface uh, in real world. Uh, we can choose it based on experimental data. Uh, for example, here we select uh, 2, 2, 0 plane, and uh, we need also uh, to d determine uh, the thickness of the slab. If it's equal to 1, the number of uh, the atoms in the slab is equ equal to the number of atoms in unit cell. Uh, and if you uh, we use uh, other numbers like 2, it's multiplied by the number of atoms. So uh, if, you, uh, if we input 2, the number of atoms in a slab will be uh, 112 atoms. Uh, after cleavage, uh, we need to add a thick vacuum layer above the surface. Uh, since units are repeated in three dimensions, there should be a vacuum layer to prevent uh, the interaction between neighboring uh, slabs. Uh, the thickness of uh, this vacuum is usually uh, 15 to 20 angstrom. Uh, to add this vacuum layer uh, in build menu, you uh, choose uh, crystals and uh, build vacuum slab. And uh, then here you uh, input uh, the thickness of the vacuum la layer and uh, after uh, clicking on build, the vacuum layer is added to the your slab. Uh, it's, uh, uh, your slab is ready and uh, don't worry about these atoms. They are actually the bottom atoms and some programs like Vesta and here, uh, you know, show them to uh, uh, inform you that, uh, you know, crystals are repeated in three dimensions. Uh, now you can uh, export the slab uh, in CIF format, for example. And uh, you, sh you should also notice that for atomistic simulations, this slab should be relaxed. And, uh, in order to simulate uh, the real uh, crystallographic uh, surfaces uh, in experimental data i mean um, and uh, if uh, this video was uh, useful for you please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and thank you